Okay, so just in this video, I'm going to show you how to access the chart builder in SPSS. And so um, the way to do that, this is just data that I have that I'm going to play with to show you some things. So we're going to go up here to graphs and you're going to go to chart builder. Sometimes you'll get a screen that shows up and says something to the effect of, um, you know, it's going to show you this chart builder. You can click the little dialog box and never see that again. Okay, so your chart builder allows you to pick a variety of things um, to build a chart in SPSS. I will tell you that most of the time when I'm graphing, I use Excel because Excel is much more editable, at least from my experience. Um, but you can chart some things in SPSS to have a look at some of your data. So you've got options here. You can do a bar graph, a line graph, area graph, pie chart. Um, and so this particular chapter talks about which are the best ways to represent data. Um, so initially the very first thing you're always going to want to do is you're going to want to run a histogram um, and then this is of course your simple histogram, your stacked histogram, your frequency polygon and your population pyramid um, which in the um, canvas I talk a little bit about when you would use each one. Honestly the most of the time I use a very simple histogram and in this case I'm going to look at um, GPA and I'm going to move GPA over. Now it doesn't look a whole lot like anything. This element properties, you can display the normal curve. So it puts a normal curve. Note that you, you don't want to look at this particular graph and say, oh, it doesn't look normal until you've clicked OK. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK here in a moment. But there's many things that you can do. Again, I don't use these options most of the time. I'm just going to say run a histogram. Does your data look normal? We'll talk a little bit about later on box plots. Um, run this data, let's look at it, but use Excel ultimately to illustrate your graphs. So I'm going to click OK. And it may take a moment. But there we go. So there's my histogram of GPA. So my GPA now is normal looking, even though my bar graphs are not exactly normal looking, but this is a good start to analyze your data.